part of me math is missing. There's only one scurvy dog that it could be. Raju Jack Sparrow. Captain. Captain Jack Sparrow. Arg. Now hear me, mates. If we put our heads together, we can solve this matter and bring the Black Pearl back. What ye say? Aye. Aye. Well then, gents, we have an accord. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. Drink up of me, yo ho. ho. Now, let's take a look see and see what's up with the Black Pearl. Well, here we are, episode four. And you can tell by looking, I've made some good progress on the ship. Very happy with the quality and quantity that this model has with it. However, what the pirates were saying about parts of the map were missing, there are some issues. If you're building this model or you're contemplating building it, this is a good segment to make sure that you watch the entire thing. But as far as the status of the ship, you can see it's looking pretty good. The rest of the video does have a couple of areas where if you're building the ship, it'll help you get through those areas where it's not quite clear when or what you should do. Now let's go into a little more detail on how I got this far. Before I start the next phase, which is gonna be these side rails and cannon ports, uh, you do have to install some um, Oh, it's the framing to hold one of the cannons in this back window and the part numbers are uh, P2 and then two of the P3s and you can see it's a, a frame to hold the cannon and to determine where those parts are or which ones they are you go to the different parts sheets And it is this one here, and these are two, and these are three. Here's the corresponding part sheet. Uh, 21 was one of the decks that's already out, and it goes up through approximately 26. This is the first uh, point where I've come to some instructions that are not clear, so I had to look real close, and even look close, it's hard to tell, but P3 are supports, and you'll need two of them. And this is for each side of the ship, so they'll be you have to duplicate this on the other side. And P2 is actually three pieces. So as you can see, there's the three pieces, and it just makes a open-ended rectangle. So here it is in place. Then the smaller P3. These are just braces that glue on the outside to help secure that in place. I have both of these finished. And what you will do eventually is take the cannon that has the cone end on it and that will insert right in there like that. Now what I'm a little confused on is the instructions say that this is the only one you need to do at this time, but then there's no more reference to these anywhere else in the instructions. So obviously all of the below deck cannon ports will have to have this made. It would seem to me foolish not to make them before you install these. So I am going to research that a little bit and probably go ahead and install all of these P2s and P3s all along the way. I discovered you know it shows all these side pieces on shows them all in place here all here and that's page five but when you turn to page six in the upper right corner 25a is a brace support that holds 25 and 26 together it's just a simple square it's uh, right here on that same placard so that needs to be installed to give it strength is what it's for 
So here's the seam in question. And what I've gone, I've removed that little block support from there because this will do the same thing, only more so. So I'm going to glue that in place right there. This is the back side of pan panel 25 and 26, and I put these in place. I did go ahead and uh, super glue these together at the seam, and the notch that goes inside, I did sand that off a little bit because I wanted this to touch here. So that's your choice, but because it was a little long, and I think even in the instructions it mentions maybe to sand that down just a little bit. And then <clears throat> I pre-constructed this the little box and uh, basically kind of set it, I guess, this way so I could square it up so it if you can imagine that's not on this, set that down and then glued it together and just held them in place. Worked pretty well. I did not put any of these uh, the side supports on basically because of this one. I saw that it didn't have enough space really. So I thought I would just wait till it's done. It's probably a good thing that I did because when I did the dry fit, not sure how well you're going to be able to see, but you can see these cutouts here are for those cannons to fit in. Okay, when you're talking about this piece, which is 25 and 26, I pre-glued all of these on here. And when I put them in place, there were a few that are real close to these ribs, and I had to take a file and file it down so on mine, it's the second one from the back, and then the uh, last two, which in reality, I should say the first two, because that's the front of the ship on this particular side, and the second of the last one. So the tightest one was the very front one, so in hindsight, I probably could have uh, left that, that front edge off and just used the rib as the sidewall. But I, I'm happy with this. It's a, a snug fit. And what is supposed to line up, according to the instructions, the important, important one is back here that these line up flush. So then in the front, it's supposed to go halfway through rib number five. And that's like the second one, but rib five. And it should go halfway, which this one is. So again, I'm just dry fitting right now testing to see how I like it. Then this one, which is 23, also will need to be flush with that back part, which is number 17, by the way. And that'll help you get the correct positioning. So I can tell those are gonna work pretty well. After a lot of thinking, I'm going to put on 25 and 26 first. And what I'm basing that on is I want this bottom to match up with this bottom and flush here. And as I go down the line, that will put this just below the deck and that'll allow the next piece to make a good seam there all the way down. And then as I approach this end, you can see there's a larger gap. In the instructions, it also says if there's any hangover on the front, you can trim it off. And then the next piece, will also line up fairly well, I think. Now this is the other side of the ship and I have some of these put in without the supports and I just wanted to do a test to see how it's going to fit. And you can see, I think, this one right here is gonna to have to be sanded off. The rest of them are okay with the exception of maybe this very front one. Now I purposely pushed it back that way and put that right along the edge of the opening. Actually you can see I've got it a little bit too far so I'm going to have to file that off a little bit. 
because this is uh, number five and it should go halfway across it. And that, actually, that's pretty good, so that'll work. This is a rather large file. So I'll show you when I get it put into place. However, I'm going to have to make a decision on lighting because I have to have electrical wiring in here before I can seal this up. So it's a matter of drilling some holes and deciding exactly what kind of lights I'm going to have in the captain's quarters. Because again, this particular ship, this is all solid in here, so you're not really going to see in. You're going to have these windows around the outside here, and there's a little ledge that they could go on. But then I've got problems with the um, prongs from the LED lights sticking down on the outside of the ship. So I've got some thinking to do and working out how to do that. And if I haven't said before, these paper clips are amazing and all you do is you take one of these and remove the two um, clip parts and then just take it, open this up. inside and then you can use this in planking and all kinds of things. I can use that to hold that in place. Instructions do clearly say that where this um, support sticks up over the side rail you can cut that off right at the top. Another issue that I've discovered is these two supports actually I can't really push this in it would make it curved and crooked and these two supports here are going to be in the way of these two staircases so before I get any further along I'm going to cut that off right at the base you can see where I've cut these off and then another issue that uh, just for clarification some of these um, cannon support little cubicles I've had to remove the side supports because when I put it on the side support was not allowing me to put it all the way up against the, the ship. So just pay attention to that. You may have to remove a few of those. Doesn't change anything structurally. Here's this side rail and here's an example of what I was just talking about you'll see that support, see it's sticking out a quarter of an inch and I need to be able to push this all the way in and it's not allowing it to go all the way in. So I'll just remove that support that's straight down from my finger. There are times when you're building that you need to take a day or two and just step back and think through some things and that's what I'm doing on the electrical uh, end of this. Because I want to put some lighting in the back, I've decided that what I need to do is kind of halt here. I need to jump ahead all the way to page 10 and pre-construct this surrounding that goes around the captain's quarters that has all the windows. Because that's where I want to place the lights. So this is the underside of the framing for the windows then it looks like this part C1 will match up exactly to that and take it towards the very lower part and then see it gives you these little inlets I think for the statues to clip in there kind of. Another part that really has no instructions other than this visual now the ship is upside down and its parts C1 through C4, you can't really see here. Now I'm familiar with this makeup, so thankfully I have a general idea of what I'm trying to do. Here's parts C2 through 4. I put them in their individual compartment because they are so incredibly fragile. Placed C2, 3, and 4 on the underside of this. This is where the little notches, where I think the statues will go in place. And I don't know if you can see, it gives it some 
dimension. Now that the window frames are in place, I'll, I'm going to dry fit these things. Then these only fill this gap, and I'm going to go, I'll stain these in a minute, but that just fills that, and then on top of it will be these decorative pieces. I would assume these would be hinged so you could open and have fresh air coming in, but they'll be permanently um, secured on my ship. There's some unique engraving in here. I'm going to try to gold leaf that. This will be my first attempt to do gold leaf on the black pearl. And it's only the second time I've ever tried to gold leaf anything. I put some copper on another small on another small ship that I just completed. And as I said before, this is actual gold. It's not the edible kind nor the artificial kind. It is 23 karat Barnabas Blatt Gold, B-L-A-T-T-G-O-L-D. I'm going to use a very small brush because I'm just going to try and gold uh, leaf the raised portions of these two pieces. Okay, need to let that dry for just, uh, if it's a large piece, it can be, you know, even up to a half an hour, but you want it to be clear and then very tacky. There are lots of specialty brushes for gold leafing I've discovered, but this is probably my favorite and this is, I purchased some makeup brushes. I think I'm just going to apply it as best I can. Normally I would lift it with this brush. Now I take a little bit stiffer brush, gently tapping on this. I'm going to cut this gold leaf. So that I don't damage the other parts of it. So now I'm going to try and brush away where there was no glue and see how it looks. You don't want to use too stiff a brush all the time because you don't want to scratch this gold too much. So these are very soft, these makeup brushes. Here are the two pieces. Obviously the one on the right I've done the gold leaf on and the one on the left is plain. To say the least, I am impressed and very happy. Now I can see up on the upper right of this, if I can point a little excess gold right there but I'll be able to rub that off that's not attached I just need to work on the um, the brushing a little more so I'll show you the completed finished product on those when they're done spent a lot of time determining how to put this together so that it would be the right shape and it really comes down to you know just building it off the ship with the lower parts on a flat surface and then gluing the side windows and the top and then the cross pieces and the other side windows, top and bottom, get those secured together and it will give you the angle for this front panel. Now right now the front panel is not glued in, it's just sitting there, but I wanted to make sure it would fit as these other pieces uh, get glued up and, and solidify. So I'll do that, I'll, I'll let that glue dry and then we'll work on getting this in place. Here's the completed shell. And I'll mention something. If you ever have, like I had a little gap down here at the bottom, you can't really see it now, but you can see from the inside, I put a little piece of gold rope. And all that is is some twine, and I keep it on hand. And I paint it gold. Let me get a close up here so you can kind of see. Paint it gold, and then I suspend it and put a weight on the bottom so it dries straight. I normally have two sizes on hand for any time where I have a little gap and instead of filling it with putty I will fill it with this gold rope. 
So I will be doing that on probably the top of this. You can see over here on the side. I've got a little gap there and you can see the glue so I'll take the real small one and put it there. Anyway, just something, uh, a little side note. I'm not installing this now, but this is uh, this is where it'll go. And there'll be a piece built on the top of this. I'll cover that later. I've put the LED lights in place, so now I can decide whether to try and bend these in towards the ship or solder a wire to it, which is probably what I'll do, and then take that inside the ship. This will be it for episode four. I've got a lot of work ahead of me, a lot to get done. And I'll try and post episode 5 just as soon as I can.